You can actually use the remote control or you can actually uh, select anything you want to play. So let's just say if I want to play, uh, let's just say if I, if I want to play Friends, right? So just click on it and it's going to automatically play, play Friends for you in the back. I actually had, had to uh, mute the audio because I don't want to get the, get the copyright or anything like that. Okay, so I'm sorry about that, but it's working in the background. As you can see, I cannot show you exactly what's working, but I'm playing Friends. It's going to play Friends. So let's say if I want to play some anime, just click on the play and it will automatically play it for you right there. See? All right, so the first thing you want to do on your smart TV is to basically head over to your settings and uh, ignore the audio, okay? So head over to your network settings and click on the setup connection. Now in this case, I have already connected my smart TV to my uh, home Wi-Fi, but if you have never done this before, you can click on the setup connection and it's gonna click on the wireless connection and it's gonna load every single connection that is available to you. So in this case, you can, if you wanna use your personal hotspot, you can actually do that. So right there, that is my home Wi-Fi, and right below that, there is a different hotspot. But I don't want that, as, I, as I've said before, I would not recommend you use your hotspot, okay? So just be careful, use the home Wi-Fi you have, okay? It's free, it's available, and you don't have to worry about data plans. So in this case, my TV is connected, and uh, if you wanna make sure, just click on the check connection, and it's gonna automatically check the connection for you. It's really simple, nothing fancy at all, okay? So wait a couple of seconds, and it's gonna connect your TV and connect your TV to your wireless connection. So in this case, just wait a couple of seconds. As you can see, it's checking every box. So let's just say right there, see? Connections connect, connection, connection is good. We're good, it's all done. All right, so my iPhone and my smart TV are both on the same connection. And by the way, don't worry about it. If you don't have a smart TV, this will work with literally any TV you have that has Wi-Fi or internet connection, okay? So my TV and my iPhone are both on the same connection, okay? Now what you wanna do is open up the Netflix app. So let me just do that. All right, so that's my profile. And if you look at the top right corner, you have the option to, for mirroring right there. As you can see where you have the option for the mirroring. So just click on it and it's gonna give you multiple options. So you have, I got multiple TVs, so it's gonna show me all of them. So in this case, the top one is actually known Android and non-smart. The second one is actually in a smart Roku Express TV, and the bottom one is an Android TV. So this works with literally any TV you have, okay? So what you wanna do is right now just select your TV. So in this case, that is my Roku Express 4K. And as you can see the background, it's gonna open Netflix for you, from your phone to your TV. Really simple. All right, so sometimes if you don't have a smart TV, you might have to log in on your Netflix. So in this case, I have not logged in. This is prob this is basically my first time doing this and it's automatically, uh, it's automatically selecting, it's automatically logged in. I don't have to log in or enter password or anything like that. So in this case, it's asking me to select the profile. You can actually use the remote control or you can actually uh, select anything you wanna play. So let's just say if I wanna play, uh, let's just say if I, if I wanna play Friends, right? So just click on it and it's gonna automatically play, play Friends for you in the back. I actually had, had to uh, mute the audio because I don't want to get the, get the copyright or anything like that, okay? So I'm sorry about that, but it's working in the background. As you can see, I cannot show you exactly what's working, but I'm playing Friends, it's gonna play Friends. So let's say if I wanna play some anime, just click on the play and it will automatically play it for you right there, see? So it's working properly. I, I cannot show you exactly what's working. So basically, whatever you wanna play, just click on it. Click every time you wanna play something, you just click on it and it's gonna play it for you. So as you can see right there, I'm gonna be playing Mission Impossible and it's working. Pretty simple, really awesome, really simple. And if you wanna disconnect this, it's awesome as well. So just click on that screen ring icon at the top right corner and click on the disconnect. And it's gonna disconnect it for you right there. See, it's not playing anymore. So it's pretty simple, really awesome. And you can actually, you don't have to use that tiny remote control to search for anything. So it's really simple, really awesome. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you, okay? That's it for the video. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.